A chilling incident unfolded on Monday as shots were fired into the campaign office of you. As Vice President Kamala Harris in Tempe, Arizona. This unnerving occurrence happens just as Harris gears up for a rally scheduled for Friday. With the presidential election looming, such attacks underscore the escalating threats political candidates face in today's volatile climate. Sean McInerney, the coordinated campaign manager for the Arizona Democratic Party, expressed immense gratitude towards the Tempe police for their prompt response. Fortuitously, no one was present at the office during the shooting and no injuries were reported. Despite this, the shockwaves from this attack reverberate deeply, raising concerns about the sanctity and safety of democratic processes. According to the Tempe police, this is not an isolated incident, but the second act of vandalism, targeting the Democratic campaign office in recent weeks. On September 23, 2024, evidence of gunfire was discovered, marking another dark day for the political headquarters. Only a week prior, on September 16th, the front windows of the same office were damaged by shots, likely from a BB or pellet gun, just past midnight. The timing and frequency of these attacks are alarming. As Vice President Harris prepares for her rally, the specter of political violence looms large, casting a shadow over the Democratic intent. Compounded by recent assassination attempts on her rival, Donald Trump, the stakes have never been higher. The political arena today is not just a battleground of ideas, but also a potential minefield of violence. As the election date approaches, the heightened tension becomes palpable. Each attack chips away at the perceived safety of engaging in the political process. For candidates and their teams, the fear isn't just about losing an election, but potentially losing lives. The need for stringent security measures has never been more evident, yet it begs the question of how prepared the infrastructure is to protect its political figures. Incidents like these force society to confront uncomfortable truths about its state of political affairs. The increasing violence reveals a rift that words alone can no longer bridge. It is a stark reminder that beneath the surface of political discourse lies a dangerous undercurrent of unrest that threatens to destabilize the very foundation of democracy. In the wake of these events, it becomes imperative for law enforcement and political parties to work together to ensure the safety of candidates. The future of the nation depends on the ability to conduct free and fair elections without the shadow of violence. As Harris prepares for her Friday rally, the call for peace and security rings louder, resonating with the hopes of a nation yearning for stability.